Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Seffi. Medi Safipur and Medi Safipur, a member of the, the scholarship committee of IFWC. Um, and I'm, uh, I was, before coming here, I was thinking, what should I do for you? Should I read the poetry, but I'm not very good at it? I told about uh, dancing band I for you, but I'm not very good at that either, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to very simply um, go over what we have done together for the last six years and thank you for what you've done. Um, six years ago, she had asked me to join the scholarship committee and it started up. Um, I was very pleased that she asked me and I joined and uh, I'm forever thankful to you for inviting me. Um, I have discovered something in myself which I never knew uh, it was there and I've learned and I've grown through doing this work, this community work of uh, uh, working with the young Iranians and bringing and making them become proud of being Iranian American. And that has been our main goal during the last uh, six years. And just to give you some uh, perspective on the, what we have done, during that six years we have raised over $165,000. I don't have the exact numbers because we haven't tallied the, this year's uh, fundraising, but it is over 165,000. And we have given a scholarship to more than 17 students. Um, Twelve of them uh, have been given under Iranian Youth Scholarship Fund, and five of them through the De Anza College. Um, these students, I'm sure, will remember that somebody in the Iranian community told about them and reached them and their life has changed, as many of them have told me, in the emails or in person. And some of those students are here, and I'm sure they are going to speak, and uh, you will hear from them. One, another most important thing that I think Fariba has done during the last uh, eight years that she's been involved in the community here, has been improving the Iranian American image in our in our community. I cannot think of anyone else who has done as much as she has. Even the, um, and the way she has touched, she has touched so many people that they don't even know that Fariba has done something for them. I'm certain of that, and I'm certain in future, you know, many people will come across some of the things that she has done, and they will be touched, and they wouldn't even know who she was. But we know, and we thank you for it. As an example, I'd like to say the Mission Bell project. That project is going to be there on, on El Camino. And 100 years from now, somebody will see and will read the Iranian, American Federation, uh, Iranian Federated Women's Club. And they will think some Iranian were in, very interested in making a connection between American and Iranian. And that will definitely change their mind about Iranians. Um, or the books that you have published. Or the, or the tapes that you made for September 11th. I was very touched with those, personally. And I was very grateful that you did that. I know how much work goes to any of these. I'm involved every year. To, for three months, <laughs> each year we speak to each other every day. And I know how much work she does for every other project. I'm amazed how she manages to do all this, really. But your September 11 project was very important to me personally, and I think for our community. That, is, that was one project that basically described the word payband. The word payband, as many Iranians know, is a very romantic word in Iranian, in the Farsi or Persian. And is, Americans don't have a word like that because it's a word that we use not just for marriage, but also for connection, for uh, technical purposes too. It's a unique word itself. 
And I hope your next project is to make sure Payland become an American English dictionary. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I must say I, I don't know how to thank you, but